We have a newly formed equipping team that's poised and ready to prepare all of us to serve using our own gifts, our unique gifts. And now this morning, we're going to have a message from Kari Seelan, our youth director, who's going to share the exciting things she's been doing with the youth in our church. Kari, come forward. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm Kari Seelan. I'm the youth director here at South Minister. Um, firstly, I would like to thank everyone for supporting the youth here. We've had fundraisers like our Super Bowl subs and our car wash, and recently at the Corner Bakery, and through your tithing at SBC. We are excited to write new chapters in the book of Southminster as our congregation commits their generosity to the youth and children's program at Southminster. I want to share with you some of what we've been doing. Last year, we had three compromises. This year, we have nine, including Molly um, Glassman, who's coming all the way from Wakanda, which has been such a blessing to our group. We're having lively conversations using the new confirmation curriculum from the PCOA called Big God, Big Questions. These are big questions these youth are dealing with, and we're trying to um, delve into them. I think that all of our congregation can use this curriculum. It's been eye-opening. Um, and as I learn when I teach anything, whether it's an instrument or a confirmation, I learn as I teach. So um, one week, a uh, couple weeks ago, we actually had 14 kids crammed in the lot. And it, it's just really wonderful. They have such a large group. We spent time working with others in several ways this last year, including serving at Good News Partners. There's a, a new life shelter for women and children. And we went in June with the senior highs. And that was their mission trip. We decided to stay local. Um, and then a few weeks ago, we brought them uh, middle schoolers and decorated pumpkins and played outside with the kids there. They really appreciate <coughs> us coming to visit and play with them. And our, our youth really enjoy spending the time with these kids in the shelter. We've also been working with the labyrinth as a way to connect to God and using it as a contemplative spiritual practice. We made an interactive labyrinth last year and offered it to the congregation. I know many of you got to walk it. Um, we walked the Peters Labyrinth, had Pastor Bart Peters Labyrinth here. We walked the labyrinth at Fourth Press downtown and another really cool outdoor labyrinth in Elgin that was huge. It was beautiful. Um, we also have a lot of fun at our youth nights. We have things like game nights. We've been loving the top cook-offs, so that's always a huge hit. We're going to do a confirmation only um, top, shelf, top Chef Bake Off for dessert this week, Friday when we have a lock-in. We've gone to Jesus Christ Superstar and golfing, so we do have a lot of fun. Uh, we deepen our faith in community by attending retreats, like staying at Covenant, Har Covenant Harbor in Wisconsin with other Presbyterian churches and attending Superstar. This is a day-long gathering in a large church of local groups um, with a lot of youth, live music, fun, and faith formation. It was in nearby Naperville, and the kids loved it. So this year, in March, we're going to be looking forward to Believe, which is their bigger gathering at the convention center in Springfield. So we have big plans for the year ahead, growing in our faith, building a strong youth community, and serving those in need. Thank you for your support. Please continue to help us write the story of these ministries as we connect, grow, and serve in the name of Christ. Thank you. 